Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to share my current favourite hairstyle. I've actually been going out and meeting up with a few friends and life is starting to get a little bit busier now, so that's very exciting. But anyway, if you wanna see how I got my hair looking like this, then carry on watching. So I'm gonna start the look off by just brushing through my hair. I'm going to use my Tangle Teaser brush and I'm just gonna quickly spray my hair with the Living Proof Anti-Frizz Weightless Spray, which just is a really great product for anti-frizz and smoothing. And it's raining a lot at the moment, so my hair likes to get super frizzy in the rain. A little of this goes a long way. And then I just brush through my hair I'm going to be using two different heat styling tools and the first one I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Steam Pod and I'm just going to turn that on and put it at 200. So the Steam Pod is now up to temperature and I'm just going to use this right on the ends of my hair just to straighten them out and I'm also going to use it around my hairline just to get rid of any weird kinks that I have going on. So that's all I use the steam pod for, is for straightening out the ends and smoothing out the hair around my hairline. So now I'm gonna heat up my curling wand and I don't think you can buy this one anymore, which is such a shame because it is just the best curling wand ever. It's called the Neuro Curling Wand by Paul Mitchell. So if you can find it anywhere online, then it's 100% worth it. Um, but I'm sure I'll find something similar and link it down below. Um, so I just turn it on and turn it up to 190 and just let that heat up and I'm going to start sectioning my hair so I just take one section from around my ears and then I like to curl underneath and back and I make sure I leave out about this much hair before I let it go and I just continue the same way around for this side of the hair. And then just doing the same on the other side. So just curling away and leaving a section at the end. Then I'm gonna set those curls into place with some hairspray. This is a Tresemme Four Hold. This is my favorite hairspray. Just can't go wrong with it. So I set those curls into place and then I take a slightly smaller clip and just clip those curls gently at the back before I let the next section down and carry on curling. And then again, taking in the hairspray, just setting those into place. And then with the top section, I make sure to curl all of them away from my face. So that's the final section done. I'm just gonna add some more hairspray and I'm just gonna let the curls sit for about five minutes and then I'll come back and we can do all the finishing touches. So it's been about five minutes and now I'm going to go in and do the final bits of styling to the hair. So I'm just gonna take my Tangle Teaser brush again and just really gently brush through the curls just to break them up a bit and then I like to add a serum or an oil to make my hair look a little bit more glossy at the ends so I'm going to use this L'Oreal Steam Pod Serum which I really love so I just take a tiny bit of this rub it together in my hands and then I take it down the ends first and then I just work it through the rest of the hair. I then go in with the Redcomb Quick Tease and my teasing comb, and I just add a tiny bit of back combing at the back. Nothing too crazy, I just like that little bump at the back of my head, plus I have very flat head at the back. <laughs> it's a very strange shaped head. And then I like to let that sort of sit like this for a minute and it will keep the back combing there for longer. And then I just use my brush to sort of smooth that down a little bit. Then I just add a little bit more hairspray 
And then usually I finish it there, but sometimes I go in with the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, which is like my favorite hair product. <laughs> and it's obviously perfect if you haven't washed your hair and you need a dry shampoo, but it's also amazing at creating volume and texture. So I like to just put a few little squirts in and as you can see that's already like created so much more interest to my hair like there's some interesting texture going on there. I also like to do this if I have really clean silky hair because it often makes the curls stay a little bit more. So yeah that's been my go-to hairstyle at the moment. Let me know in the comments down below if you think you're going to give it a go. As always, the products will all be linked down below in the description bar. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!